Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to show you how to sign documents on a Mac. Maybe you got email, the contract or a W9 mm -hmm. and you start filling it out and you get down to the signature section. You're like, uh oh, uh -oh. I might have to print this out and sign it. Rescan it. it. Rescan yep. it. Nope. So <laughs> this is a W9. You've probably seen one of these before, David Payette. You're filling it out, and as David said, et cetera, et cetera, your social security number, then you get down here to signature of U.S. person. You can't sign it. So I'm gonna save this as a PDF file, just file, save as. It's gonna download as a PDF on a Mac automatically. Save it to the desktop, that's easy. We'll call this W9. Now I can quit Safari, and I've just gotta double click on this W9 to open it up in preview. So. What we need to do next is open the markup toolbar in preview by tapping the little marker sign. It's the marker inside the circle. Then look for the little cursive J and this is the signature drop down. And this is where it gets cool. Just tap on that and you can add your signature either using a trackpad, which is the trackpad on the Mac, the camera, which is the webcam and it's super cool. That's what we're gonna do. And you may see iPhone if you're signed in with iCloud. My favorite way is using the webcam because it's pretty cool. So what you do is it says to sign your name on white paper, then hold it to be visible to the camera. David, would you do the honors? Sign your name? Yeah, sign my name on white paper. Jeez. Oh, That's... This is not my signature. Yeah. That's actually it's kind of close. Yeah. Did you do that on purpose? No, I, that's how I signed my first name and then I... I'm not good at cursive. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do, this is the hard part, but you gotta hold it up there. Oh, well, I don't think. My cursive's so bad, the there other we go. go. So try to get that line, the blue line, to be sort of aligned with the bottom of the signature. There we go, it looks pretty good. But when you're done, just tap done. Perfect. So now we've created a signature, and this is gonna be saved in this signature drop-down menu. If you ever wanted to, you can always delete it by tapping that. So I'm just gonna tap on that. It's gonna insert the signature. Now I can drag it around like anything else. Let's come on down here. Signature of US person. This is my signature apparently. Stick that right there. Then I can add the date. And I mean, if you're a preview, you can just hit this little T, which is the text box. Drag over the text over here. We'll say it's today. I don't know if the IRS would like that. Can change the font color. I know this is just about the signature part, but you what's can really do cool though, because I've been in a situation before where I've gotten documents they want you to sign. And I didn't knew, even know about this feature, so I'd be printing it out, signing it, scanning it with the printer. Yeah, I have one of those cheap HP printers that doesn't work very well. Uh, yes. This is so much easier to save so much time. Yep. I've actually used the trackpad feature before. I like that. Is it cool? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So try the trackpad thing. Yeah. I like this. I think that's cool. Trackpad might be easier. When you're done, just save it like any other file. File save, for instance. And then you can just, for instance, if you're going to mail it to somebody, click, drag it right over the top of the mail app. It'll open up the mail app with a message. That'll be attached to the message and you can get going. That's pretty cool. That is how to sign documents on a Mac. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Leave us a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone videos.